Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, Eddie Hearn has explained that Kubrat Pulev is a more accomplished fighter going into the Anthony Joshua fight than Andy Ruiz Jr. was. And this was in response to the questions about the price point of the Pulev fight being $24.95 just as it was for the Andy Ruiz Jr. fight, which was supposed to be rising just for that mega event, but it has stayed the same. And that was his argument, it stayed the same, it hasn't gone up. It's the same as the Ruiz fight. And in addition to the fact that fans cannot attend this fight and therefore they need to make up some of that gate revenue that they would otherwise be losing by putting on an extra £5 onto the pay-per-view, that is how they are going to do it going forwards or for this particular event to make sure that the biggest star in world boxing, in Eddie Hearn's words, is able to get out, is able to stay active and so that they can put together this undercard. But the thing that stuck out for me more so than anything else is him saying that Kubrat Pulev is more accomplished going into this fight than Andy Ruiz Jr. was. Now, I do not believe that is correct at the moment, but I believe that when you look at it from the perspective of thinking before he beat Anthony Joshua, then if you look at that resume of Andy Ruiz, then compare that to Kubrat Pulev's before facing Anthony Joshua on December 12th, then perhaps Kubrat Pulev does have the better wins. He has a win over Derek Tazora and Huey Fury also. He has also beaten the likes of Tony Thompson, who got two victories over David Price. He's also been in there with Vladimir Klitschko, but lost that fight, obviously. And Samuel Peter was well past it when he fought him. So there are some names on that resume. It is most certainly not the level of Anthony Joshua, but then again, that is not what we are talking about. We're talking about comparing resumes between Kubrat Pulev and Andy Ruiz Jr. In that case, I would say that before the Anthony Joshua fight, then yes. Kubrat Pulev probably has a better resume compared to Ruiz, if you go on that alone, because Ruiz's best fight, his best opponent before Anthony Joshua was Joseph Parker, and he lost that fight. So he was a good fighter, but he didn't have the resume of, say, Kubrat Pulev now. Is Andy Ruiz Jr. a better fighter than Kubrat Pulev, or is Kubrat Pulev the better? I would say, personally, in my opinion, Andy Ruiz is the better fighter than Kubrat Pulev based on ability alone, but put that aside and consider that styles make fights, then Kubrat Pulev can potentially cause problems for the top heavyweights in some way or another because he does have quite an unconventional style. But as I said, styles make fights. So just because Anthony Joshua beat Vladimir Klitschko and Vladimir Klitschko beat Kubrat Pulev, that does not mean alone that Anthony Joshua can definitely beat Kubrat Pulev. I think that there will be some tough challenges in there for Anthony Joshua to overcome. But I think that the style of Kubrat Pulev is better suited to Anthony Joshua than Andy Ruiz Jr.'s was. Because in the Andy Ruiz Jr. fight, Anthony Joshua did want to fight with him, but that was kind of the wrong approach to take. He needed to box with him. Whereas in there with Kubrat Pulev, Pulev will want to box, so Anthony Joshua will make him fight. Not all the time he won't go in there guns blazing and looking for just one big punch. He's more educated and mature than that now. So he will box him early doors. But I think that after exchanging jabs, after finding his distance and seeing what Kubrat Pulev has got, because that is important also, seeing what the opponent can do. Can he hurt Anthony Joshua? Potentially, yes. It's the heavyweight division. Any punch that lands at the wrong moment can cause a devastating effect. So Anthony Joshua is not likely going to stand there and just let him hit him. But ultimately, once he feels the power of Kubrat Pulev and understands what Kubrat Pulev brings to the table, because you can only really find that out by being in the ring with him. So once he establishes that, I think Anthony Joshua will start to take over. And obviously that relies upon us knowing that Kubrat Pulev doesn't have enough to deal with Anthony Joshua. We don't know that just yet, but one thing we can go on is that resume. The one fight that he has lost against Vladimir Klitschko. And as I said earlier, that is no certainty that just because he lost to Klitschko that Anthony Joshua can beat him. But... If we look at what happened in that fight, Klitschko clearly took him to a place he could not go to. Klitschko was at a level where Kubrat Pulev just wasn't there. He could not raise the bar high enough to compete with someone like Klitschko. That could be the problem because we've seen the level of Kubrat Pulev. He is capable of beating Derek Chisora. He is capable of beating Huey Fury. But Anthony Joshua is a completely different prospect to those heavyweights just as Vladimir Klitschko was also. Now, of course, you could say the same thing about Andy Ruiz Jr. The best name on his resume was Joseph Parker until he fought Anthony Joshua, and he lost that fight. But if you look at the manner 
of the loss between Klitschko and Pulev, then put that beside Andy Ruiz and Joseph Parker. There were strong claims that Andy Ruiz beat Joseph Parker. I do not believe them. I think that Joseph Parker did win that fight. But still, the claims were there. That shows how close the fight was because it was a very close fight. But still, for me, Joseph Parker did win it. And of course, there is the argument that Joseph Parker is not of the level of a Vladimir Klitschko. So there is that clear difference in opponents they were facing. Andy Ruiz versus Joseph Parker was contested at world level. Kubrat Pulev versus Vladimir Klitschko was contested at elite level because Klitschko was clearly an elite level heavyweight at that point. And that was just one step too far for Kubrat Pulev. Whereas Andy Ruiz, in the second fight where he lost to Anthony Joshua, he did not look completely out of place at elite level. That is the difference between the two fighters. Andy Ruiz was, yes, probably less proven than Kubrat Pulev going in. That is why it was such a shock to see him rise to that level. Kubrat Pulev, we have seen him hit that ceiling. We have seen the level. But that does not mean that he cannot cause Anthony Joshua problems. Because again, heavyweight division, all it takes is one punch. And of course, styles make fights. On this occasion though, I think that Kubrat Pulev matches up perfectly for a better stand-up fight for Anthony Joshua than Andy Ruiz. More of a fight, less of a boxing match. Pulev will try to do that but I think that Anthony Joshua will go in there with mean intentions, looking for a knockout. And I think that there are clear vulnerabilities in Kubrat Pulev. He definitely does not have the chin of Andy Ruiz Jr. Therefore, Anthony Joshua will be able to hurt him. He could hurt Andy Ruiz Jr. But I think that Kubrat Pulev is more susceptible to that kind of power than Ruiz was. And also, I think that the style matches perfectly for a good fight, a good stand-up fight for Anthony Joshua, where he can implement his power punches more so than against Andy Ruiz Jr., not just to keep him at bay, but to go looking for that knockout. And of course, Eddie Hearn is saying that Kubrat Pulev is as accomplished or more accomplished than Andy Ruiz Jr. He's trying to sell the fight, but I think that what he is saying is if you go off their resumes and what they had achieved before facing Anthony Joshua, then you will see that perhaps Kubrat Pulev has the better resume and maybe is more accomplished than Andy Ruiz Jr. If you say that now, then there's always the fact that Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua and became unified heavyweight champion. So therefore, definitely has a better name on his resume and definitely has more accomplishments in the sport of boxing. Guys, anyway, I will leave a link to the interview where Eddie Heron said this in the description below. Make sure you go and check that out if you want to. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.